In this video, we want to evaluate the integral of 1 over the square root of x minus x squared. We're going to try this. Go ahead and pause the video, and I'll be right back. Now, the first thing that comes to mind for me is the inverse trig function formulas. And the one I'm thinking about for this one here, and there could be other ways to do it. Trig substitution, you may look into that. But this is the one I'm looking at. I'm thinking about the integral of du over a squared minus u squared is equal to the x sign of whatever u is over a plus the constant of integration. And keep in mind, keep in mind that if you have a constant here, it works the same way. You just integrate using this formula and then just whatever you can multiply by k. So that's what uh, I'm going to do. I'm going to try to transform the integral so it looks something like this here. And I will be using a u substitution. So I'm going to have, rewrite this under the uh, radical, or the radicand here. I'm going to factor out an x here. So this will be x. That will leave me with 1 minus x. And then I'm going to rewrite this. I can rewrite this as the square root of x times the square root of 1 minus x. So just be dx here. I don't need the 1 on top there. Factor out the x. We'll bring out the x. It'll look like this. Then this, this will be here. 1 minus. And then I'm going to rewrite this x here as the square root of x quantity squared. So that's the same thing. Square root of x squared is x. If we multiply by this here, then I'll get what I started off with. x square root of x minus x squared at the denominator. So now what I'll do is I'll let u equal to the square root of x. So du. And then think of this square root of x as x to the 1 half. So I can use the power rule for derivatives. So it be 1 half out in front. And then subtract 1 from the... 1 half exponent there, give me a negative 1 half. And then what I do here is I multiply through by 2. So this will bring 2 du out here. And then this is a dx here. So I multiply by 2, both sides by 2, so got rid of this 1 half on the right side. And then I'm going to rewrite this as dx. And I'm going to take the x to the negative 1 half to the denominator, then I change the sign to a positive one half on the exponent. So if you look at this then, dx over x to the one half, so that's right here. dx, you can split that as a separate quantity, dx over the square root of x. It's the same thing as x to the one half. That can be replaced by 2 du. And then all I got is this radical here, so this would be the square root of 1 minus the square root of x squared, but the square root of x, that's your u. So this will be u squared. Now that's pretty much the way the formula is. The only difference is the formula just had du over the square root of 1 minus u squared. But you can factor this out. So if you just look at this part here, that tells you that the integral is simply, you know, you might use a arc sign, you can use it. To write it this way. Arc sine. You can write it as sine inverse also, the same thing. But I write it as arc, arc sine of, and then it's u over a. So u in this case is the square root of x, and a here is 1, the 1. Okay, so the a is 1 here. So it's u over 1, and u is square root of x. So this is square root of x. Put in parentheses just to make it clear. And then the 2 comes to the right. So if this had been uh, some other number, you just multiply it here. So in this case it's uh, 2 and your constant equation. That's your answer. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.